Hey guys, Lamar here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three things that have led to my exponential growth as an e-commerce entrepreneur and launching over 50 different products on Amazon. I think there are some great takeaways in this video. You know, I'm up here just chilling on my deck, and I hope that this new format you like. If you have any questions about today's video, drop a comment below. I read them all, happy to answer, happy to do some one-on-one -on -one dialogue with you about follow-up points on any of these you know, any of these points that I'm gonna be making in the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and if you're getting value, definitely hit that like button in the video. But without further ado, let's hop in here so I can drop three things that have led to my exponential growth as an entrepreneur. Point number one here on the list, guys, is launch more products, okay? I'm seeing or I'm talking to too many people that have a little bit of mediocre success or their first product they're just breaking even on and they're getting discouraged. Guys, my first two products failed. My second one, it took two, three months where I was just cons consistently breaking even until in month three, four, where I eventually saw 20% margin, then 25% margin, then 30% margin. It's very unlikely that your first product is going to be successful, quite honestly. There's a high learning curve when it comes to Amazon, and you just have to continuously launch more products. So that first one, it's unlikely that you're gonna be successful. If you're breaking even, that is a success in my book, especially if it's your first product. There's so many different intricacies with the Amazon platform, with selling on e-commerce selling e that you're gonna to have to learn. As soon as you have one product up and running, that is your indication that you understand this, the, the platform, the system, how to launch a product on Amazon, you have to go right back in and start launching your second, your third, your fourth product. I am right now consistently launching two to three new products every single month, and I can promise you it is fueling my exponential growth as an e-commerce entrepreneur here. If you're in a good category that allows for vertical product expansion, definitely take advantage of that. And what I'm talking about here is once you learn about a category, once you're in a niche category for a specific product, it's much easier to continually release other products within that same category. So if you can launch another style variation or a new bundle variation within the same category, targeting the same keywords, those are easy low hanging fruit for you to launch additional products and gain that exponential growth that I'm talking about here. However, if your product category isn't receptible to launching vertically or you just aren't able to do that with your current product, you have to move into other product categories horizontally. And I've also done this. So I am launching products vertically and horizontally all within my brand. So it's super important that you're continuously launching more products. Also, when you're launching more products, guys, when you're consistently rolling out new products, you actually become less stressed about things that unexpectedly happen. So when you have stock outs or you have quality problems or your supply chain is delayed for one reason or another, you're not as stressed out because you know that you have another two or three products in the pipeline that are there to replace the income from the, the stock out or from the quality issue. It's actually relieved a lot of my stress knowing that I am developing or I have new products consistently in the pipeline. The other benefit here, guys, of launching additional products is the improved cash flow, all right? Even if your first or second product or maybe product number five is you're selling at break even, the improved cash flow the improved sales volume going through your Amazon account 
has indirect benefits. The improved cash flow is going to show Amazon that you're able to generate more revenue through your account, and therefore they're gonna actually end up offering you loans later down the road, which is gonna help fuel additional products. In addition to just churning more volume through your Amazon account, you're gonna build up more uh, credibility with Amazon and customer feedback. So these are indirect results that lots of people are not talking about, but you're gonna to start to see the benefit when you go and launch or continuously launch more products and put more volume through your Amazon account. This leads into my point number two here, which is the second thing that has led to the growth or exponential growth in my business, and that is an Amazon loan or injecting new cash. You're going to have to inject new cash into your business to continue the exponential growth. Right, And this makes sense because once you have a product that's successful, you're gonna need to reorder and reinvest the profit that you've gained from that one product into new inventory. However, you're also gonna want to launch new products, launch a third product, launch a fourth product, and you're going to need to get that money from somewhere. You might have to take investment, you might have to seek out a bank loan, I've personally have been able to invest my own cash. However, I've also taken now two loans from Amazon equal to about $100,000, $110,000 in additional cash that I've been able to inject in my business and help fuel my growth as I continue along this journey. So once you have that initial success, once you start gaining confidence in what you're doing is working, you're going to have to seek outside funding from somewhere, and this is gonna help exponentially grow your business. Guys, once you have a working model here with what you're doing, double down on the working ideas. Double down on what's working and scale your business. Point number three here on the list is hire a Chinese contract worker, especially guys when you're manufacturing and you have so many suppliers over in China, it is gonna be so helpful for you to have someone on the ground over in China that is able to do uh, sourcing, inspection, negotiating, writing up contracts in Chinese. I actually made a whole video just on how you can go about looking for and working with a Chinese contract worker or a Chinese employee. I'm gonna link up the video below in the description and you guys should definitely check out that video if you're sourcing from China and you're looking, if you're serious about scaling your business and taking it to the next level, highly recommend a Chinese contract worker. And that is point number three here on my list that has massively led to the exponential growth in my business. So there you guys have it. I hope you got some value out of today's video. You know, these are three of the most important things that have led to my exponential growth in my e-commerce business and launching additional products on Amazon. If you guys have got value out of today's video, definitely hit that like button. You know, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you have any follow-up questions, drop a comment below, guys. I read them all. I'm happy to answer and talk further about any of these points that I mentioned today in today's video. Uh, without further ado, guys, oh, and let me know in the feedback. Do you like the new setting here? I'm trying a couple of different things out, so definitely give me some feedback on whether you like the new setting or not. Without further ado, guys, have a great day. I'm off to CrossFit, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.